Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Suzanne. Today's look is going to be on this one right here. It's very easy, no lashes, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe and let's begin. First, I'm going to use this Bite Beauty. This is a primer for uh, normal to dry skin. Uh, this is just a sample from Sephora. Uh, it's really, really nice. It feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't smell like anything, and I really liked it. It's just a very hydrating um, primer. Next, I'm using Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, and this is in the shade Y244. This is really an interesting foundation. You either love it or hate it because it has a very light coverage, kind of buildable to medium, uh, but it's really, really pretty on the skin. It feels like skin, but better. It gives you that hydrated look without being too much. Uh, I do really like it for my normal to dry skin, especially in the winter time. Uh, and yeah, I really like the coverage as well. Next, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs Corrector Concealer. I'll list all the shades down below for you guys, but this really cancels all the darkness under the eyes, and you will use less concealer as well with this corrector. And I'm using just the It Cosmetics uh, Foundation Brush. I love this brush because it has a dual ended, and you can use it for concealer and um, your foundation as well. Next, I'm going to use Kevin Kwan Concealer. This is really, really pretty. Uh, it's a little bit more on the thicker side, so I do blend it with a brush first, and then I go with my Beauty Blender. Uh, next, I'm going to use this a blush duo from Patrick Ta. This is a cream and a powder. Uh, this is, I believe, in the shade She's So LA. You can use this one as a bronzer and a blush at the same time. And I love using cream bronzers. And I'm just using the same brush from at Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to set everything in place with a uh, loose powder. This is from Fenty Beauty. I really love this powder for the under eyes and I do use it uh, on the rest of the face as well. I'm going to use a bronzer from the Ambient Lighting uh, Palette. This is from Hourglass, and I really love uh, this palette. Uh, I can use it as a powder, as a setting powder, as a bronzer. Uh, it has a beautiful highlight as well. It's really, really um, a nice palette. Next, I'm going to use the Patrick Ta She's So LA Blush Duo, and I'm just going to use the powder to set everything in place gives you a beautiful sun-kissed look. This is Brow Bar um, Palette. I got this one in my Boxy Charm as well. I'm going to use that beautiful highlight. It has everything in this palette. Uh, it has eyeshadows, uh, highlight, uh, setting powder, and it has blushes as well. It's a beautiful blinding highlight though. And I'm just going to go back to this palette as well, and I'm going to use it for my crease color. I'm just mixing those two shades together with a fluffy brush. So I'm going to take the same colors, and I'm going to blend them in the lower lash line. This is Urban Decay Palette. I believe this was a uh, limited edition. I'm gonna use that beautiful uh, gold color from the palette and I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid just for that bronzy look. from Huda Beauty, it's a mascara. It has a lengthening and volumizing mascara in one. Um, I did use the volumizing side and to be honest, I did like it, but I didn't love it. Like I was not crazy about this uh, mascara. It gave me volume for sure, but it just, it's a little bit clumpy for my liking. Um, I do prefer my Too Faced better than sex mascara to be honest, but if you don't mind the clumpiness, 
you'll like this. Next, I'm going to use two new products to me from Sephora and Patrick Ta. So a brow pencil from Sephora in the shade medium brown. And this is the tinted wax um, in the shade, I think, dark. So I'm just going to be uh, spraying a little bit of um, Fix Plus. And I'm just going to use the pencil, the spoolie, and just to brush my um, eyebrows upwards. And I'm just going to fill in the gaps. This is really a beautiful uh, pencil. It's waterproof, and I do like these triangle shapes uh, pencils. Next, I'm going to use uh, Nice and Spicy from MAC. This is a beautiful lip liner. It's very warm, it's really nice. Um, and I'm just gonna line up my lips with it. Now I'm going to use another MAC product. This is a lipstick, and I'll list the shade down below. It has a satin finish to it as Now I'm going to go back to the Urban Decay palette and I'm just going to use that shade just to highlight the inner corners a little bit more. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So this is my easy um, bronzy look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.